Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Bem-vindos ao canal do Mr. Emerson The Game Father. Estamos aqui hoje para mostrar uma entrevista que faz tempo que não tem entrevista internacional aqui no canal. Então chegou a hora, e chegou a hora em grande estilo, porque hoje nós vamos entrevistar aqui o grande designer Alexander Pfister, que é o meu designer favorito, né? Tem jogos sensacionais. Para mencionar alguns, Maracaibo, Port Royal, Mombasa, uh, Great Western Trail. Cara, este designer para mim, ele só faz jogos memoráveis e agora nós temos esse novo lançamento chamado Boom Lake, que vai vir para o Brasil pela Vem Pra Mesa Jogos. Então já fica preparado aí, porque eu já joguei, né? Foi um, um dos grandes jogos veiculados lá na última Spiel, na feira que teve na Alemanha. Cara, que jogaço gostoso. Lembra um pouco Maracaibo, lembra um pouco Port Royal, lembra um pouco All My Goods, porque tem lá as cartas de projeto com os símbolos que você usa como se fosse recurso. Tem a navegação do rio ali no, no, no rio Boom Lake com o navio. E é um jogo muito gostoso, cara, baseado em ações, né? Como vocês vão ver na entrevista aí. E esse vídeo aqui, cara, tem uma coisa muito especial pra vocês. Por quê? Porque vai ter um sorteio a Vem Pra Mesa Jogos, né? Já que esse jogo vai vir por eles. Resolveu presentear a galera que tá assistindo essa entrevista aqui com o um jogo. Mas não vai ser o Boom Lake, porque o Boom Lake ainda está em produção, né? Então a gente vai sortear pra vocês aqui um Boom Fire. É bom também, né? No bom sentido. Mas é o Boom Fire, que também é de outro grande designer aí. O Stefan Feld, que é um jogaço também. Então pra você participar é o seguinte... Tem um link aí na descrição com o um formulário que você vai ter que preencher, é muito fácil, tá? Formulário do Google, lá você coloca seu nome, seu e-mail e algumas outras informações e você vai ter que responder uma pergunta. A pergunta é a seguinte, como que originalmente seria o nome desse jogo Boom Lake de acordo com o designer? Vocês vão ver aí na entrevista que o nome original era outro e aí mudou para Boom Lake devido a um pedido da editora. A editora achou que o nome não estava muito legal e tal, como vocês vão ver ele explicando aí. Então vai lá, assiste, tá, tá aí algum, alguma parte do vídeo, vocês vão lá, assistem, vê, vejam, e aí preenche o formulário e manda para o The Game Father, que a gente vai fazer um sorteio desse jogo para vocês, patrocinado pela Vem Pra Mesa Jogos. Tá bom, gente? Então isso aí, eu curto essa entrevista, cara, que ficou muito legal. São 34 minutos, mas foi um bate-papo assim, muito gostoso. A gente falou de, da nova versão do Great Western Trail, a gente falou da extensão da Great Western Trail, que vai ser a Great Western Trail Argentinian, que é da Argentina, depois tem a New Zealand, que é da Nova Zelândia, a gente falou muito do, do, do Boom Lake também, falamos de outros jogos, falamos da carreira dele, falamos de um monte de coisa, cara. Então não perca a oportunidade de assistir essa entrevista inteira, porque o cara é muito gente fina, ó, e, eu, e eu ganhei uma exclusividade com ele, eu fiquei até lisonjeado, que ele falou que geralmente ele não dá entrevista para canais latinos, assim, não é, não é porque é preconceito não, para canais latinos e americanos. Porque ele não tem um inglês muito bom, inclusive eu achei que o inglês dele é excelente. Mas ele não tem um inglês muito bom e ele falou, ah, eu fico com receio de dar entrevista porque aí o pessoal fala muito rápido, eu não entendo, então eu, geralmente eu não dou entrevista. Mas pra mim ele deu, não sei se ele foi com a minha cara, mas enfim, The Game Fighter aqui, conseguiu uma entrevista com o Alexander P. Fister, que vocês vão ver agora. E não se esqueça, hein, promoção, ó, link aí embaixo do formulário, vai lá. Responda a pergunta, informe seus dados, você está concorrendo a um jogo Bonfire da Vem Pra Mesa Jogos, tá bom, gente? Então é isso aí. Não deixe de curtir esse vídeo, comente bastante aí o que você achou da entrevista e se inscreva no canal do The Game Father. Valeu, um abraço pra vocês, as felizão da vida, hein? Tchau, tchau. Okay, so let, let's start the interview. Um, so it's a real pleasure to have you here. I'm a huge fan of your work and really like your games very much, of course. Especially Thanks. Maracaibo, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which the, the, the last one I have here, I had a, 
a contact with Boom Lake this year because a guy who traveled to Spiel, the last Spiel that uh, he brought some, uh, some games and Boom Lake was one of those games. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity to, to play it. So I like it very much. Mm -hmm. I, I risk to say that I like much more than Maracaibo. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I found it really amazing. Thank so, you very much. Yeah. Thank you for being here. And hello to all Brazilians <laughs> watching this interview. Uh, please don't get disturbed by the sun here. <laughs> It's <laughs> right shining into my window. We have a sunny, nice day here in Austria. Uh, I see. Okay. So uh, I would like to ask you uh, to talk a little bit about your board game experience. You know, when did you start in this world, especially when did you start to have the idea to develop games? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I started uh, when I was uh, a teenager already. So uh, 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago. And I was all, I always enjoyed playing games And I invented my own, own games when I was 10, 11, 12 years. Of course, they were not very good, but <laughs> I started <laughs> at this time. Uh, and then uh, after school, I, I moved to Vienna to study there. And I didn't uh, design games anymore, but I played regularly. And right. then uh, there was an agency in us in Vienna and this agency you could play new games with them yeah so you could play uh, test your designed games with them and mm -hmm. they and if they if the agency liked them they would present it to publishers mm -hmm. so uh, that was actually my start yeah because uh, before this I only designed the games for myself and my friends but right. I never had in mind to publish them. But with this agency in the city I lived, uh, it was very easy to uh, get my games to publisher. But then it took again several years until uh, the first publisher accepted one of my games. Um, this was, I think, 15 years ago already. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this time, there were only, there were fewer publishers And so it was very difficult to get a, a game published. It's, it's almost the same now. It's still quite difficult to get a game published, but they are far more publisher now and Kickstarters and so on. So if you really want to publish a game or make a Kickstarter, you can do it by your own. That was not possible uh, 15 years ago. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then a publisher accepted my work and uh, had Uh, luck to work together with Andreas Pelikan and mm -hmm. we made two games, Broom Service and Isle of Sky and they mm -hmm. both won the Kennerspiel des Jahres in, in Germany, the Kennerspiel mm -hmm. des Jahres Award, it's a big award and yeah, that was a fantastic uh, fantastic time for me, a fantastic award because nice. I knew this award since I was a kid so uh, winning this award is like winning the Oscar in the film industry so that was really fantastic and winning it two times yes that's 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 a really great honor and yeah uh, from there on of course the publishers uh, yeah contacted me and wanted mm -hmm. to publish games for me so it became much much easier nice well, how mm -hmm. old how old were you at the time uh, I think very younger yeah yeah I think I, I'm now 50 and It was maybe 45 or something, five, ah, okay. six years again when Broom Service and Isle of Sky were released. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after that, you have several games huh, published. Yes. <laughs> and I also, I was also uh, interested in heavy games. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And um, Eckert Spiele, they published, uh, yeah. My, my heavier games so this went well as well and yeah so yeah I do my 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 uh, uh, non so complex games I have my mm -hmm. easy games like Port Royal or mm -hmm. Oh My Goods and I have my heavy games so I try to do all all sorts of games 
Mm -hmm. It's a balance between easy easy games and more difficult games. Yeah, I start mm -hmm. with a mechanism and and look how it develops and if it fits to a difficult to a heavy game or if mm -hmm. it is too random. If it is too random, maybe a shorter game is better and so on. Which one of your designing games do you find the most difficult one in terms of rules, for example? Uh, I think. Um, I think Marakibo is quite mm -hmm. difficult, yes. Yeah. Great Western Trail as well. Uh, so they are maybe the top ones. But nevertheless, they are not. I, I, I played far more heavier games, yeah, with mm -hmm. many more rules, yeah. For yeah. me, designing a game I uh, means I always. Uh, um, think if this rule is necessary, if, mm -hmm. if a rule really adds some good decisions, and if right. I think, no, it does not add uh, mm -hmm. some good decisions, I try to uh, drop this rule, because mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, I like when games are with uh, uh, not so many rules, but yeah, still yeah. rich in choices. Yeah, no, I, I can consider a game not so difficult, you know, because you have a uh, logic behind, you know, the actions are like a circle, you know, you know? Mm -hmm. just like Maracaibo, you have to go down the river and once again and once again. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's a very straightforward rules, you know, so it's not mm -hmm. that difficult, actually, yeah. from my perspective, of course. Mm -hmm. But so, if you talk yeah. to other people, <laughs> non-gamers, <laughs> they would say, oh, no. 24 oh, yeah. pages of rules, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, but yeah, I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. They felt a little bit scared about when you see, <laughs> yeah, just like you said, not so many pages of rules. Oh, my <laughs> God, it's a Bible to read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And let, let me change the topic a little bit. Uh, have you ever met someone from Brazil, board game market, in, in a fair or in Spiel in Germany? Uh, I I think so, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I met, I'm I met two guys and they took a photo, uh -huh. but uh, I, it was several years ago, so I don't yeah. remember it exactly. Uh, and also, I'm uh, playing uh, or testing uh, Great Western Trail Argentina with a Brazilian mm. ah, nice. gamer. Yeah. Fernando Moritz is his name, mm -hmm. and uh, we are testing it a little bit. He has some, he played Great Western Trail, I think, hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's yeah. a real expert. Very expert. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's also uh, good for me to have mm -hmm. this testing because, you know, since uh, COVID, uh, a mm -hmm. lot has, has gone uh, testing with with a uh, tabletop simulator, for example, yeah. so on electronic mm -hmm. platforms. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's actually uh, not so bad for me testing with this. I didn't do it before, but uh, now yeah. I really think it's a nice way to test games. Yeah. It makes the things easier, just like in the past, you know, because now you can test with people around the world, not only physically there when you are in. That's right. right, and also yeah. the publisher, you can send it to the publisher, you don't have to pr print it, or they don't exactly. have to print it, and and mm -hmm. wait for it two weeks or so until the post arrives, yeah. or they have to, to print it out themselves, or something like this. So, uh, yeah, there are also some, uh, yeah, some nice aspects. Yeah. Because we, we started now here in Brazil to release very good games abroad, you know, just... Uh, just like the one that uh, was in Spiel de Jahres 2019, if I'm not mistaken, Cartographers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you if you heard about yes. this game. It's yes. a Brazilian designer. So I know, jo I know. Jordi uh, Aden, yeah. I, it, that's right. I, 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 I'm also in contact with him, with him and, uh, and this yeah, one. we... This one, yes. try, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and we, we we tried to make even a game together, but then he started to work with I think Simon Games, and they mm. said, uh, "Please don't publish a game or something like this." I'm not sure, but but he started to work and didn't have time anymore. 
to make mm-hmm. a game. But yes, that's also uh, I I know him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's now a um, an extension called Heroes. I think is going mm-hmm. to be released here in Brazil as well. And also we have one that's making a huge success here in Brazil called Brazil Imperial. I don't know if you heard about yes, this game. Yes, of course. Yeah? Yes. I haven't played it myself yet, but I really am eager to play it uh, and heard very good things about this game. So I yeah, am, play it because I'm it's sure really I will good. like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's really good. I think it's one of the ma- most famous games n- now in Brazil and, and I risk to say one of the best games uh, mm-hmm. have ever published in Brazilian mm-hmm. market. It's very mm-hmm. beautiful. The components are amazing and it's telling a little bit about the Brazilian history. So it's... Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice game. Um, so Do let, you let, think uh, that this helps selling the game when it is about the own country? Probably yes, huh? Yeah, yeah. Every gamer so. wants to have it. Yeah, I think so. Because mm-hmm. it's a local, local theme. So the people mm-hmm. are quite right. interested, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, of course, it, it makes it a little bit difficult in our market because of the dollar exchange rate against the Brazilian mm-hmm. real. Because now the games here are becoming very expensive to be acquired. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, uh, it's becoming more and more like a small market, you know, because it's, mm-hmm. they are very expensive. I don't know in Europe or in US if the situation is the same. I mean, in terms of production, because the games are demanding more and more beautiful components to, you know, to pleasant the eyes the eyes of the people so i don't know mm-hmm. if it's the same in, in europe it is I, yes yeah i think uh it's unbelievable but great western trail when it released it cost 35 euros uh-huh. so if it would be released now i think the same game would be 50 percent more expensive uh yeah. so yes there is this price increase but nevertheless, uh, I think it's it's still a, a very cheap hobby we have because, first of all, although games are not that cheap, but they are worth something, so you could even sell them again if you want to for, say, half mm-hmm. of the price. Mm-hmm. And then if you think how many hours uh, the players have fun yeah. with this game, uh, mm-hmm. if you go into the cinema you you have one and a half hour of fun and mm-hmm. also pay uh, not uh, also pay uh, some money mm-hmm. so i think it's 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 actually not so an expensive hobby or for example if you play buy a computer game or something like this yeah. it's also very expensive mm, and you must see that a computer game the producers have almost no cost they just mm-hmm. give you a disc and that's it yeah. And stay, yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, it's still uh, actually a, a cheap hobby we have. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I always do this type of comparison. You know, going to the cinema and <laughs> mm-hmm. buying a game. It's much more and, fun. At least. Yeah, that's right. That we Last like board games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we are we are very curious about the Boom Lake which is the game that will be published in Brazil, I don't know, anytime soon here. It's promised to be released here this year. Mm-hmm. So I, I had the chance, the chance, the opportunity to play it already, so I like it very much. Well, thank and, you. Yeah, I would like to ask from where the idea came from, the Bone Lake. Uh, you mean the theme or the, or the theme, theme. And mechanics? No, the okay. theme. Yeah, uh, I wanted to have a game where... Um, It is a mixture of uh, settling and Mm -hmm. modern time. So Mm -hmm. what we are in Boon Lake is uh, we are fleeing modern society. We are fleeing from the technology. Uh, So we are leaving this and uh, settle around uh, the Boon, uh, a lake called Boon, Boon Lake. Yeah. And we settle around this and try to... uh, go back to nature uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and buy some cattle and build some easy buildings and settle again. Yeah, So it is uh, leaving modern society to start a new life, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And you will see it also in the, in the illustrations that there is always uh, some components or, of modern life. 
Yeah. Right. So it's not it's not uh, uh, yeah old days or 500 years ago. So that's how the uh, theme came up. And about the mechanics, the core mechanic is yeah, this action selection where you select an action and the longer it was not taken, the more steps you get on the river. So uh, you want to select uh, an action which is um, on top of your election selection row. Yeah, so so mm -hmm. you put the actions in a row and whenever you take an action, you put it underneath the row and so uh, it goes up steadily and and when you do an action afterwards all the other players can also do the action mm -hmm. so uh, every player is always involved and uh, yeah I think that's nice to keep downtime low mm, it yeah. is for one to four players and mm -hmm. If you know the game, it will be 90 minutes. But if you don't know the game, the first game will be approximately three three hours. Yeah, two yeah, to four yeah. hours. It I takes some that. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't know the pets you can you can choose, so you take a little while for you to decide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And did you know that there is a real lake in Canada called Boom Lake? Yeah, I, I yeah? yes, I know. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> I googled it, but it's not yeah. it's not the orientation to use that name. It's a coincidence. It's 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 a coincidence. Yeah, uh, it actually it was first named Bone Lake. Bone uh -huh. Bone Lake. Uh, but uh, the American publisher, they said maybe this sounds a little bit too uh, brutal or uh -huh. cool. Bone. Uh -huh. So uh, they said maybe Boon Lake would be a little bit better. And it also fits the theme well. So we are leaving modern society to have a new life here. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, the, the mechanics are, are quite similar to Maracaibo. Right? At least I felt that in terms of the project cards, the way the boat sail across the river. So okay, can we consider this game as a Maracaibo version 2? <laughs> More uh, or less. <laughs> no. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I think uh, yes, it has this river, but um, yeah, I think the actions are the core mechanic is different the because action. Yeah. because uh, you choose an action mm -hmm. and uh, others follow this action and you can choose any action on this list of actions yeah. you have, yeah. But yeah. you probably want to choose the top one. Yeah. yeah. I think it is uh, also a little bit easier from the rules. So maybe when you are used to Marakibo, you don't think it because uh, it's a new game to, to learn. Mm -hmm. But I think after you played it uh, two times and know the uh, symbols, you mm -hmm. will really find it not so difficult. Yeah. To, uh, you just have to learn these seven actions and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have all the iconography around, right? In the cards, in the board game, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. everywhere. So once mm -hmm. you get used to the iconography, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you are right that there are also, I like this card system. Yeah, I really like the cards yeah. uh, very much. So I used it here too, uh, where you can have many effects in the cards. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's my my personal favorite mechanism, multi-use cards, yeah, and yeah. I try to use them in many games, because you know the the nice thing in, with cards is you don't have to explain mm -hmm. uh, all the cards. It's just when it turns up, you have new possibilities to do. So it's not um, you don't have many rules with the cards. It's on the card, the rules. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, you have your hidden information. You can uh, plan a little bit with your cards. So that's the reason why I really like this uh, mechanism with cards. Yeah, I like it very much as well. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. why I'm a huge fan of your games because mm, of the, you. the card the card management. I found it really amazing. Mm -hmm. And ju just one last topic that I want to to talk about here: the Great Western Tray, because we are going to have the new version, the second edition release here as well in Brazil. So, what, this is a trick question. Maybe you, you don't want to answer, but uh, let, let me ask you. Why did you find necessary to release a new version of the game? 
it's uh, because it was a huge su success already, right? Mm -hmm. w mm -hmm. What's your dream? Why? Why? Uh, I I, di I did not find it necessary to release a, a new version. That was the decision of the publisher to ah, make right. a new version, uh, and uh, I think. For example, I can tell it from Port Royal. That's a small card game I mm -hmm. made. And Port Royal also got a new version oh, yeah. released. Mm -hmm. And when you ask why do they do it, it's because after, after so many years, people, uh, or let's say, uh, tastes, change mm -hmm. and the people want a new illustrations maybe right. this illustration was okay five or six years ago but mm -hmm. now with all this improvement in the games people want a new illustration so uh in great western trend the illustration changed mm -hmm. but uh we, we all I also listened to the community and, and there were some buildings mm -hmm. which weren't used that often, which were considered as a little bit too expensive. So yeah. these were also changed. So there's some balancing changes. Then we have this, uh, uh, we, we uh, changed the material a little bit. The, the mm -hmm. herder is now a very nice figure and with a hat and so, so it looks fantastic. Uh, then uh, we also included a small expansion. There's a new cow mm -hmm. card now. Uh, yeah. It's included. You can play with it or without it. So I think there are many, many uh, big, uh, uh, yeah, changes which makes mm -hmm. the game better. And yeah, and so far it has fantastic ratings and people really love it. So right. it was a good decision, yeah. Right. But whoever says I'm happy with my old edition, of mm -hmm. course, it does not need <laughs> to buy the new one, yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, big fans probably will say, okay, I played it so often, uh, <laughs> I like this improved material, yeah. You know, yeah. that people pay uh, hundreds of dollars or pesos. Mm -hmm just to, I don't know, have a nicer ship or have metal coins and all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. real, people really want to have uh, better material or illustrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Maybe people are going to have both games in the collection. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So we have two new versions coming after this one, right? One for Argentina and another one from which country? New Zealand. New Zealand. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you tend to change the mechanics a little bit. It's going to be just a team uh, differentiation. No, no. It will. Uh, so it will be like tickets to ride Europe mm. versus tickets to ride uh, America. So it will have a new map. It will have basically the same mechanics, but right. it will have uh, many uh, small differences. So what mm -hmm. I want to have is that you still get the Great Western trail, trail vibe. So it really feels good and you like to play it, but it really adds something new to the game. And uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's an improvement because Great Western Trail is such a good game and people like it. So yeah. it's difficult to improve it, but you have to think differently And yes, there are these gauchos in the in the Argentina version. There are gauchos, mm -hmm. and you have to fight them. And there are new possibilities nice. and strategies to do. So uh, I think uh, people really like it. Mm -hmm. mm, will like it. And yes, uh, that's 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 the plan for this year. Okay, so they they are going to be released this year. I think that the the Argentinian version. Yeah, that's the plan. I don't know when it is will re when it will be released in Argentina mm -hmm. uh, or in Brazil yeah. at your place, but uh, in English it will be uh, available this year. Right. Okay. We are anxious to have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just to, to finalize the interview, I uh, have some uh, short questions for you. Uh, do you have a favorite game am among all the games you designed so far? Uh, it depends on the situation, yeah? 
I really uh -huh. like to play Port Royal. It's a it's a simple card game. I like to play Great Western Trail. Of course, my newest game, Boon Lake. I mm -hmm. I like this as well very much. So it it it, it depends uh, how much time I have and so on. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to decide. I understand. Mm. <laughs> they are all of your tri children. Let's say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. It's you mm. know that's that's the good thing about being a designer. You can make a game which mm -hmm. you really like, and you think yeah. that's that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, which really fits your taste, and my games fit my taste. So yeah. And th there is uh, maybe there is another game that you like as your top one. For, for, for of all time in your collection, I mean, do you have a uh, game like this? Uh, I I really like uh, uh, the games. Uh, uh, I'm thinking of the English uh, English uh, name of it. Im Wandel der Zeiten. It's called in German. Uh, mm -hmm. Very through the ages. Yes, that's ah the name. through the ages. I like this through is the a ages. Civilization game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like Underwater City. Underwater City. I like uh, Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. So that's the games I like to play. Nice. I like that as well. Very good mm -hmm. games. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, so to, to finalize, any new game in the pipeline that you intend to release in the next months or years, a part of the Argentinian <laughs> version of the Great Western yeah, Trail? I, I just wanted to name, I'm currently working on, on Great Western Trail Argentina and uh -huh. and I have some other, I have one other game, um, but it's still work in progress and we have uh, to see how this develops. Okay. Uh, and... Yes, so that's actually, you know, I try to uh, I try to make one or two or maybe three games per year mm -hmm. at most, mm -hmm. rather two games, and I rather want to concentrate on few games and make mm -hmm. them very good yeah. instead of making uh, many games but not mm -hmm. uh, making them really good. Mm -hmm. So I think there are so many games. If I look at 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 the back of your <laughs> of your cupboard, you have so many games. There are so many games released each year. I yeah. think uh, only the best games should be released, and I try to focus on one to two games per year and make mm -hmm. them as good as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that's the reason why I don't work on many games parallel, and and mm -hmm. I can't say what's coming next next actually yeah yeah which makes a lot of sense okay so mm -hmm. let's la message the to your brazilian fans that you like to record here <laughs> yeah hello everybody i uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you like my games and yeah i try my best that my future games also suit you uh, and and yeah I'm happy that this market and the community in Brazil is growing so fast. Uh, yeah, so I can only say greetings from Austria and I wish you all the best. Okay, so we wish you all, all the best for you as well. Thank you very much for the Thank interview. Thank you also. It was a huge pleasure. Maybe in the near future we can meet together in person in a fair around the world, especially in Germany. Let's see this year yes. if I can go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. do, do you go usually to US, to the Gen Con? No. Or, no. Oh, no? Okay. Only the, the events in Germany, in yeah. Europe. Okay. okay. Nice. So thank you very much for your time. It uh, was a huge pleasure. And have a good day and rest of the week. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.